Welcome back to Menrack Park, where as you can see today we got a wooden coaster in the park. First one of a few, I would say. I think. I'm not exactly sure how many I had planned for this park. Might be two, might be three. I don't know. I forget. So, let's get into this little layout real quick. Because we got a train going through. There's a turn. Into a lift hill. Into a turn. If you guys the Raven at Holiday World. Into a really not that slow, tr steep drop. And then into a camelback. Which gives some good floater airtime. And you got the um, customs warts, as you can see. Lots of it. Then it goes into a turning camp, turning hill. Lots of laterals. Very rough, I would say. Well, maybe not. During this, I guess this thing, pro since this thing is so popular with guests in the game, your park probably would have made the investment to retrack it. Again and again. So yeah, um, then it goes into a drop that is slight. I believe is slightly steeper than the entry. Not exactly sure, but whatever. Then it goes to double up into this weird turnaround that is found on the boss and Great White. But yeah, it actually takes it a little bit too fast, I would say. But it still gets like it's still is within limits, I would say. He has a drawn out speed hill. Might give a little bit of ejector at time, I'm not sure. Then it goes into a turn into the Mikos Break Then it goes into a drop off the mid course. Slightly turn turns a little bit. Then it goes into a speed hill. Before it goes into Helix. Which you'll notice is not banked a lot. I'm going to pause the game just because it seems that this is very loud. So you'll notice that the um You'll notice that the helix is not very banked, as by design. These wooden coasters would not have had much banking. Which is why they're so rough now, but like, it's fine. This one probably would be so, so smooth, somewhat smooth. Like, I'm pretty sure Great White Smooth, I wouldn't know because I haven't been on it. Like, Legend and Raven, I'm pretty sure, are probably smooth. So yeah, um, but yeah, these... CCI wooden coasters tend to have a lot of lateral G forces and have very good layouts, but they just age so poorly, which is why a few of them have gone, have closed, and so I think two have been converted into RMCs, being what are now Storm Chaser and Medusa, Medusa Steel Coaster. I think that's both of them. Funny enough, the original plan was to RMC this eventually, but I just love the layout, so I'm not going to do that. Imagine. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I can't bear to do it. I really love this layout. Yeah. Um, let's take apart custom sports, so... Just um, go through this. Let's start with the batter braces. Right here. Up the auto is killing me. Okay, uh, here we go. So here's the batter races right here. They're they basically serve to keep the, the support from like ripping itself apart, basically, and keeps the track in place. So pretty useful. These supports are like super bulky. Like, they are very bulky, and they, these took forever. But yeah, um, then these ones are basically the same as those ones. And then this camelback support is basically the same as shivering timbers. I don't know why it's built up so much, but it is. So, I copied it. Yeah, um, I decided not to put lateral bracings on or batter bracings on this helix. Just because I don't think CCI would have did that. I don't think they would have. So I didn't. Um, yeah, so where were we in the layout? Uh, drop off the mid course. So there's drop off the mid course. Drop off the mid course, speed hill. Then a he helix, a turn. Which is some great views if I actually had this open, but I don't. So then it goes to a double, two speed hills. If you think that I, it is up for debate. In my, in my head, whether or not CCI would have did this, but I'm pretty sure they did speed hills on Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds. 
got Rise of Price first airtime, so I would assume it has some speed hills and stuff. I don't know. I've never ridden it. And I don't feel like it's a few feet, so we're stuck with this. Um, and there is another turn. Not much banging again. Before it goes into another turn. And then a little dip. It's strange. What I did here. I think it was a really weird and shaped double up. This was just pulled out of my own head. It should probably just be one airtime hill, but I decided to do a double up. And then it goes into a turn, and then go a hill, and then to the final breakhead. Which probably gives a good head chopper in the front row with this thing. Yeah. And why is this train black? We'll fix it later. Um, so yeah, and you got the switch tracker here. Nothing really good meat and shed in the bin. I really like these things. Yeah. Why is there beams here? I just want to fix that. Whatever, I'll, I'll fix it after I'm done recording this. <laughs> Such a. It's fine. And here's the name it's White Stag, and this is a. A stag is a male deer, so you have a skull of a male deer. Very good. Change it down. Looks cool. Then we have ride photo booth. I like just copy and pasted it again. I don't feel like making a new one. So yeah, and then we have a Hus Frisbee. I decided to um, put it that pop it down here, do a queue line and stuff, yeah. So, you do go around here, it is, looks a little strange, but it is semi-realistic, you only really need this side of the fence done to separate this. You don't need it because you have this wall right here, you know, and the park ride would have wanted to save money with fencing. So I decided to do that. So yeah, um, there is some downhill bits, and there's a staircase. This is just we can get easy access down here, and this is so we can have wheelchair access. So, so yeah, wheelchairs can't get through the main queue, but I also wheelchair pass probably would just be through right here. Just makes the most sense. So yeah, very simple build. I'm gonna end it off with a POV of the ride. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll add a teaser at the end of the video for the next two coaster. It's coming in right here. I already know what it is, and I, I have not built it. I'm probably going to build it right now. I don't know. It's midnight. I have no life, but whatever. Um, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.